It's uh, half February and uh, well, it's quite early in the season, but buds are starting to swell on this um, big field maple. So I think it's time to do some work. Uh, I will already put back this hose clamp here. Uh, there's some raffia under it to, to protect the, the tree a little bit. So now I'm going to uh, remove all the wiring. Um, and of course, well, a whole lot of this is going to uh, bounce back. But I want to remove the wires because I don't want any scarring. And if it doesn't stay where it is supposed to stay, that's no problem. I will rewire it in autumn. Uh, so let me just do that. And then we'll have some uh, pruning work to do. So this only took a couple of minutes because, well, that's not a whole lot uh, to do. So let's come a little closer and look at this branch and then the, the back branches and, and the crown. So this is the side branch and, well, um, this lowest part here, I kind of like it. it. It could become a little thicker, so I'm not going to do anything about that. Uh, here I have a branch that is not really where I want branches to be. There's also a little smaller one here. So I don't think that I'm going to uh, use this one. So I'm going to get rid of that completely. Like so. Let's clean this up a little. Um, then this one is dividing here into two, which is very good. And then we have a fork here and two buds here and two buds there. But they are also, uh, well, there are also buds. Oh, okay, so that, that was the winds putting everything on the ground. I splitted this branch um, and I think it's still quite weak, so maybe I, I should keep a little piece of wire around this portion because I don't want to lose this branch. Okay, so if I see that it heals, I can remove this wire like so. I'm just going to wrap it around that one for extra solidity. Okay, so um, I have a little one here, which is, I think, nice. We'll divide here in two. Here I have one little one, another little one, and a big one in the middle. Now, I don't think that I'm going to use the tree, of course. I just want that one in the back and that one on the side. So this one I'm going to remove and clean this up. Okay. And here, one becomes two, one becomes two. So that's, that's looking quite okay here. So now for the top, top of this tree still is a little bit of a problem. Um, well, it's not mature at all. So I think that this branch can become a little bigger. Here, typically of maples, we have one, two, three, four buds, which is of course a few buds too much. So I'm going to remove this one here at the top. And this one here at the bottom, I'm just going to pinch it out. So that's better. This is a little dead stump. There's a branch growing down. That's not good. I probably can keep this one. And then I'll remove the bud here and here. This could be a little cleaner. Yeah, this branch, I'm not too sure, but it's a small one and it's a, in a good position. So I'm going to keep that. Then here, well, we have a good branch here. And then it divides into a whole lot of new little buds. But of course, I cannot keep them all. 
so if I keep one or two that's gonna be enough and then I have the stump that I can clean up like so that's better and that's even better okay the branch here looks good this is a horrible stump and then I have this strange corner here which could smooth out and then this becomes the leader so that's okay this one should fuse with the two others here so I'm just going to let it grow wild and then I have the top which is not bad it's dividing in two and you don't really want one big dominant top on the deciduous tree it's okay to have a crown so just removing the little that stump in the middle and probably i'm not going to use this portion but it's not doing any harm here so i'm going to let it as a backup if something happens with this if i see that this grows well in the season then i will probably remove this parts okay so this tree is ready to go for the growing season hello everybody and welcome on today's video i have problems with the grafts in my um, big field maple here and well this is um, well, the last week of may now and i, I hope to do to, to be able to do something to fix this because i'm going to lose the whole uh, growing season and uh, so well I'll show you what I what I'm planning to do I don't know if it's gonna work but well time will tell anyway you see this top here died and I have to replace it but it's gonna be a little complicated so let's let's zoom in to see what should be done so first of all I must get this loose and maybe, probably I would say, this one, this graft made it. So I'm going to cut this one and then see if I can replace another branch. So that's one thing. I'm gonna get rid of that and then cut the raffia loose I don't know why this uh, top died it seemed to work really fine at the beginning but yeah to shut off the camera get this clean and then I'll be back I think this whole portion here of the tree is is dead I'm scratching the the bark here doesn't seem green so well yeah sad but of it goes Uh, there's no green there maybe here no nothing so you have to go a little lower and here we're starting to have a little green again so yeah <clears throat> well it's obvious that this part is, is alive because we have green here and it comes from the same branch so now if I take a closer look at this point, this graft seems to be okay. So uh, I'm going to, well, I'm going to do it just cutting this one off. Okay, so now this graft is on its own. I'm going to leave a stump here for the the dieback, and if this one dies too, well then I'm 
really back to the drawing board, but okay. But now it means that there's nothing. Um, bound to other places there's also a graft here but i'm going to leave that one because the branches that i like to use to fill up the hole that i created here well anyway i don't think i can use that maybe this one but i'm hoping to use these branches now and that's stupid because you see this one was the corner of the other one but maybe i can put these ones here if they're long enough and that I don't know maybe one or two are so I'm going to remove a few leaves to see if I can fit that so This might work. So. Yeah. This looks a little young, but might work too. Okay. <coughs> anyway. This is a, quite a, a setback for the whole project. I don't think I'm needing this stump here. I'm showing you this whole thing doesn't have any... Maybe I'm just going to remove it. And it will direct the sap flow to the other portions so I have maybe one two three little branches that I can use to fill up that gap <coughs> sorry about my throat okay so again So this one's gonna work, this is going to work and it would be nice to have this one too, but then I'll have to remove these leaves. Okay, so Rafia, might be a good idea to give this branch a little direction to the front so that It, it will give me a little more, um, how should I say, freedom of movement. <clears throat> it's quite a thick branch, so I'm going to anchor it here and do a little <coughs> bending. But not a lot. So if I can get it a little more to this side, that would surely help. Okay. No, that's an ugly wiring, but it will do the trick. And once that these things are fixed, I even can remove this wire. So, Raffia. Okay. So I need these three branches in this hole. Okay, that's two. 
and that's three. Okay. I'm gonna press them here. This is going to be complicated. But once that I have the first turn, it will work. So this looks good. <coughs> Thing is now I have three branches there and if they grow well, this grafting might be quick. Okay. I'm glad I did it. I was looking at this tree and well after all these years you see that the, the that the graft is not working anymore and it's kind of sad. I was really hoping to close this gap this year. And But okay, I did it now, I did it now and I still have months of growth, so still possible to have a good fusion. I'm going to put my little ring back, it gives a whole lot more stability to the whole thing. If you bump it or something, that really helps. Okay, just a little more. That's good. So, so what I did today was a quick repair of something that went wrong, and of course, lots of things can go wrong but yeah well uh, what can you do um, on the other side I see that the tree is growing quite well here and it is time to do some pruning also to reduce the new growth and encourage a little more ramification so that's quite nice and that's normal work for a tree in development so this is great looks good i i, I like that um, secondary branch here can also do that here and this i do not need but maybe I'll keep it long or try to split it yeah if I cut it here I might get two new shoots that I could include in this problem area so that might be a good idea okay well you see stuff happens and uh, then you you have to fix it So that's it for today, thanks for watching and see you next time.